So good afternoon, everybody. My name is Boki Han, director of Center for Genome Science at the Korea National Institute of Health. First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Eric Green and Professor <laughs> Zinsberg, right? And uh, uh, Dr. Manuolio so, um, for actually giving me an opportunity to speak in this meeting of global leaders of genomic medicine. So today, I would like to talk about Korea in the Korea genomic medicine and its plan and infrastructures. This is contents of my presentation. Korean government ministries planned cooperative genome research project in two years ago. This shows the overview of multi, multi ministry genomic research project of Korea. The project called Genome Technology to Business translation program. This project will be conducted from 2014 to 2021 <coughs> with a funding of $500. Maybe the amount of funding can change. So there is three types of objectives, human, non-human, and then in us. So for the human genome, implementation of genomic medicine is the representative goal of this project. This slide represents the functions of different ministries that are involved in genome research project. Um, the MHWMA or MOF, MOF is the name of ministries and the major of the area, major area of their work is human agriculture, marine life, basic research and industrialization. These, the, these are the upcoming research topics that are funded by each ministries. And the joint project could be funded by several ministries. So the research topics funded by Ministry of Health and Welfare are the steps that lead to the implementation of genomic medicine. This slide shows the cooperative links between ministries. These research topics links to each other and the support project development. Uh, the results of basic research can be used for application research and uh, once the outcome of application research is approved, the results is available for industrial application. Ministry of Health and Welfare supports genomics for personalized medicine and translational research and the production of Korean genomic information. These all project or research topics will converse and uh, um, will be integrated to realize our ultimate goal of genome research to business system translation. The Ministry of Health and Welfare support research topics to, in order to realize genomic medicine for next generation. The vision is promotion of public health 
and personalized medicine. The mission is to develop prevention, diagnosis, and treatment by using collected genomic resources and informatics. The main project funded by Ministry of Health and Welfare can be categorized into five topics, including ethics and legal social implications. This slide shows the detailed project within to each topic. The results of this project will be integrated for genomic information, and joint project will involve cooperation with the other ministries, for such as the Ministry of Science or Trade. This slide shows the conceptual diagram of a project funded by Ministry of Health and Welfare, disease mechanism, translational research, and disease genomics, and genomic resources are connected in a cycle. Genomic information from these researches will be used for the future researches such as predict, predicting diseases or reducing complication, etc. These are new projects that will be conducted in this year, in 2014. With the funding of $10 million, research on clinical genomics will be launched ELSI Center is studied. The production of Korean genomic information based cohort will continue. In addition, it is undergoing preparation for the Registrating Genomic Research Act and the Technical Roadmap for Precision Medicine. Dr. So Jung Son is PI of the technical roadmap project. So now, I will explain about genomic medicine <coughs> infrastructures of Center for Genome Science at Korea NIH. Center for Genome Science consists with uh, four different divisions. Division of Epidemiology and the Health Index conducts <coughs> cohort studies. The rest are Division of Biomedical Informatics, Division of Structure and Functional Genomics, and Biobank. As, a, as the only national health institute in Korea, Center for Genome Science <coughs> has established genomic resources by producing large scale of ep genomics and uh, epidemiological data, as well as biobank specimens. These genomic resources are provided to other researchers, especially those who are supported by Ministry of Health and Welfare. In short, at Korea NIH, we are conducting project, projects that provide infrastructures for genomic researches. Our mission is to provide infrastructures pro by producing genomic and epidemiologic data and sharing. Furthermore, we conduct GWAS and the prospective cohort studies to find out genetic and environmental and gene environmental interactive factors associated with the Korean traits. Current main project of Center for Genome Science are three, Korea Genome and Epidemiological Study, COGES, Biobank Project, Genome Analysis Project. 
Hoja's project col has collected large scale of epidemiological data and biospecimens such as urine and blood, DNA, serum, and plasma, and so on, through cohort studies. The main, a main age group of cohort is from 40 to 69, and uh, uh, about 250 uh, participants are, were recruited. So COGES has more than four, 240,000 epidemiological individual data. There are three different type of cohort, community-based, health examinee, and zine environmental interaction cohort. On the base of whole genome analysis of COGES samples, we conducted several GWAS, including anthropometric traits and metabolic traits. <coughs> Our researchers have published certain articles in major journals. So I would like to talk about Korea Biobank project. National Biobank and the 17 regional biobanks are connected through Korea Biobank Network, KBN. KBN provides sample quality control guideline and education for standardization and harmonization of biobank. This shows Korea Biobanks. National Biobank Korea is uh, located in Korea NIH, and the regional bio banks are located in university hospitals. As a control tower, National Bio Bank developed QC technique and manages the samples and uh, accelerate the active distribution of biospecimen. This slide shows the biospecimen collection from 600,000 participants. The samples of national bio banks are collected from cohort studies and disease prevention research, such as Korea enhanced studies. The samples of regional bio banks are collected from patients. This shows the distribution of human biospecimens. Total 913 research projects have used biobank resources. This shows snapshot of MBK. I apologize for Korean. The KBN is a portal site for Korea Biobank project. In this portal site, researchers can get certain information on biospecimen and uh, any other relevant information. So here is the other project, Korean Genome Analysis Project. Through this project, we have produced genome-wide data. The, our research objectives to disco are discover genetic di factors and construct reference information infrastructure, such as Korea reference genome by whole genome sequencing data. Dr. Jo Sung Bom is in charge of Korea Genome Re Reference Project. Korea Reference Epigenome Project are also conducted. We plan to produce 50 epigenome maps until 2017 with a budget of $10 million. Produced data will be shared with the IHEC and the international scientific community. So in sum up, this shows perspectives and issues. To realize our mission, we need to promote data sharing and set up long-term plan for genome research. 
and we have faced obstacles in funding and in legal ethical issues. These issues remain to be solved. Maybe today or in this meeting, we can talk about these issues and uh, uh, we cooperate with each other. I think these obstacles can be overcome by the looking into the various needs of stakeholders and assuring stable funding and also dealing with legal ethical issues related to privacy protection laws. In Korea, we have ethical laws. So thank you for attention. You mentioned Korea-specific traits, and it was oh, yeah. sort of sort of interesting. I mean, it got me thinking that that you know, in some ways, these might be I, mean, I hate to call them experiments of nature, but but might be things that that you could learn about your country, but also might give insights into many mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. Could you comment? So, for example, the diabetes patients have uh, uh, they are not so mm, the BMI of this diabetes. <coughs> Patience is very low. Thin people have diabetes, so maybe we, there is uh, some specific or genetic traits or so. Mm -hmm. Question about the consent for your mm -hmm. biobank, since you have a federated system with various biobanks feeding the overall enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, have you? Uh, had difficulties harmonizing consent, so is there from the outset a single consent mm -hmm. that is applying to all biobanks, if you could just comment on that. So I, as I told you, we have in Korea ethical law. So in this law states, the form of uh, and the contents of informed contents form. So we use this form of informed consents, yeah. What's the structure of electronic records um, in the medical system in Korea? Oh, I think maybe Dr. So can explain more about that because uh, he is the medical record. I think it is quite good yeah. in Korea. But is it, does it use a, say, SNOMED with a Korean translation or is it a separate semantic system. The, the SNOMED? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So but it's not interoperable with, is it interoperable with uh, Western systems? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 